Have you been thinking about starting a podcast? Or maybe you've already recorded a few episodes and you need a website for it. In this video, I'll explain how to create a website for self-hosting and managing your podcast episodes using the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. You'll be able to manage your podcast episodes and regular blog posts all within the same familiar WordPress interface. When you're ready to share your podcast with the world, you can submit your RSS feed to Apple, Google, Spotify, Stitcher, and many other listening platforms. You can even move your episodes to a synchronized podcast hosting platform and still manage it within WordPress. Before I show you how to set up the plugin itself, I'd like to give you a quick preview of what the website will eventually look like. I recorded this after I shot all the rest of this footage that you're about to see, but this will give you a preview of where we're headed. So this is a fictitious podcast called Simple Podcast. So I created this fake logo and this fake RSS image here, cover image. And we've got just a few pages. This is the home page, and it looks kind of like a blog. So here's the third podcast episode, and here's a blog post. Then going back in time, we've got the second episode, and the second blog post, and then the first episode, and then the first blog post. Let me go back up to the top. And I've created these links to where it just filters the podcast episodes or the blog articles. And then I've got this sample about page. This would include some podcast hosts. And these are just made up names. I've got Melody Martin and Tom Travis and Lily Livingston. And then some information about each one of them and how to contact them or whatever kind of information that you would want to put on your about page. Maybe it's just you and you want to put some biographical information about yourself. And then a contact page that would give your listeners a useful way to contact you. And it's just a regular contact form, really. And then in the sidebar, we've got this cover image and some subscribe links and how you would, how they would subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and then the RSS feed directly. And this is like recent posts on a blog, but actually I've called it featured. So I've got blog posts or podcast episodes and blog posts there, the, the most recent 10, although I've only entered six here. And then this could be some kind of newsletter sign up where people add their email address and click sign up. So that gives you a preview of, of what we're going for for our simple podcast website. Now let me show you how I did that. The first step in converting this simple WordPress website into a podcasting website is to install this seriously simple podcasting plugin. So I'll copy this and go back to the website and go to plugins. I'll click add new and put seriously simple there. I'm not typing the whole thing because I'll actually be installing about three plugins. So here's the seriously simple podcasting plugin. I'll install that. And while I'm here, I'm going to grab this stats plugin as well. And then I'll come down to transcripts. So I've got all three of those plugins installed. Let me go back to the main plugins page. And I'll go ahead and activate each one. There's the main one. Here's the stats plugin and transcripts. And now we get this podcast menu in the sidebar. So I'll click podcast and then settings. And I've already set this up in a previous install. So let me just go through a few of these tabs with you. So we'll mainly be concentrating on the general tab and the feed details tab. So under podcast post types, I'm going to choose posts. The way that I'll maintain these podcast episodes is that I'll just create a regular blog style post and then I'll set it to a category of podcast. So my blog articles will be blog category and then my podcast episodes will be podcast category. So in order to do that, I'm going to enable the podcast functions on the posts, the regular blog posts. 
and then include podcast in main blog. I'm going to check that. And media player locations. This is where the podcast media player uh, can show up. So I'm going to choose full content and excerpt. And I like the media player to show up above the content, but if you prefer it below the content, that would be fine too. And I'm not doing a member, a members only website, so I'm just going to select everybody for the media player visibility. And you could select this enable iTunes fields if you want to enable the iTunes iOS 11 specific fields. And I've got enable player metadata checked. And I'll show you this later. I'm going to choose the HTML5 player with album art, although you could choose this standard compact player. And then I've adjusted the background skin color just by clicking here. And then I put in this hex value. And then I've got the progress bar color set to white and the progress bar progress color set to this purple. So now I'll click save settings. And then let's go over to the feed details tab. And on this tab, I've filled in a lot of the details about the actual podcast. So I've given it a title of simple podcast. I've written a subtitle. It's harder than you might think to make it look simple. I put my name for the author. And then for these categories, there's primary, primary subcategory, secondary, secondary subcategory, and tertiary, tertiary subcategory. So for each one of these, you can select a main category. I've selected education and then how to for the subcategory. And then I don't really know what this podcast would be about. It's just a fictitious one. So I've selected technology and then tech news and then uh, business and then entrepreneurship. And then for dis description and summary, I've written a longer description that would appear if someone were searching for my podcast. And then for cover image, this is recommending a minimum size of 1400 by 1400 pixels, but I've actually heard that Apple Podcasts supports up to 3000 square. So I'm going to select the one that I created. Let's see, that's the smaller one. So here's, here's the one that I've created and I'll click select. So that will appear in the feed or when somebody finds the podcast and then they're able to see the cover art for it. And owner name, I'm just putting my name again. And this owner email address, this should be your email address, of course, or one that an email alias that points to your email address. But I've, this is my development server, so that's why I've put that dev-email at flywheel.local. Uh, you'll put in your language, this is in English US. And then it actually filled in this copyright. So I just put the podcast name here. And you can mark whether your content will be explicit. And if you're finished, if you're coming back after doing a podcast and you're completely done with this podcast and then you'd kind of mark, like to archive it, you could check this to mark it as complete. And then source for publish date, you can set to either publish date or recorded date. I'm going to say publish date. Now, for show type, I believe episodic is default, um, or you could choose serial. And I think the difference there is that episodic would be like the newest or most recent would be at the top, like a blog, so it's in reverse chronological order, whereas serial would be the first one would be at the top, then the second one, third one, etc. cetera. Uh, you could put in a media file prefix here if you had... Um, PodTrack or Chartable or some other kind of media file prefix. For episode description, I've chosen post content, but if you wanted to write a shorter excerpt, you could do that. And then in your feed, it would just put the uh, excerpt. You can choose to turbocharge your podcast feed, and I'll let you read more details about that. It gives you a shorter description for some of your, some of your episodes in your feed. And if you were moving a podcast from some other location, you could check this, redirect this feed to new URL, and then you could, you could fill in this new podcast feed URL here. I'm going to leave those blank because this is a new podcast. 
And for iTunes URL, I'm actually going to change the name of iTunes. It's now called Apple Podcasts. And Google Play is actually now Google Podcasts at the time that I'm recording this. And then Spotify URL. I'm going to add Stitcher, and then I'm also going to add um, RSS feed. Well, actually, I'm going to put that on the website. But I've filled these in with with fake URLs. Th these are not the URLs that you would want to use. You would actually, when you're ready to distribute your podcast later, you would go out to Apple Podcasts, and you would sign up, and then you would give them your podcast feed URL, and then they would give you back a URL to enter here. So you'd enter Apple Podcasts here, Google Play here, and again, I'll show you how to change these labels. And then I'm going to click Save Settings. Then now let me show you what the website looks like. So I'll click Refresh. And the way that I've got this set up is the home page. I have all of the recent blog posts. And in this case, it's blog posts like this one with this big featured image. And then these add this social media links. And then here's the way a podcast would look. So I've numbered it. The, the first one is down here. So 001. And then I've just given it a fake title. And then the podcasting plugin adds all of the rest of this. This is the description or the, this is the content that I put in. I'll show you that later. So we get a leave a comment link. We get the category. So I've set this one to podcast. We get the author and then the date. And down here, we get a link to download the file. So this would go right to the MP3 file. You could click play in a new window and it would open a new tab and, and you would just get a little player. And then it analyzes the MP3 file and gives you the duration. And then because of that transcript plugin, I actually get a link to a PDF that I created. Again, I'll, I'll create a new podcast, a third podcast entry, and then I'll show you what this looks like. And then you also get these subscribe links. So this iTunes, I'm going to change that label and Google Play and Spotify. So before we do anything else, let's go ahead and take care of those labels. So instead of podcast settings, I'm going to click options. So for iTunes URL, I'm going to change that to Apple Podcasts. And for Google Play, I'm going to change that to Google Podcasts. Spotify is fine. I'm going to add a subscribe option. And I'm going to type Stitcher. And then I'm going to add one more. I'm just going to say, oh, whoops. I should have saved before doing that. So I'll save that. Now let me do an, another one, add. OK, so I'll, I'll say RSS feed. And then that's that URL, the slash feed slash podcast. I'll enter that and I'll show you on the other screen. So I'll click Save Settings. Whoops, I think I need to do this in between each one. Let me do that one, Save. Google Podcasts, Save. There we go. So now, we've got, now we have Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, RSS feed. We've got a duplicate there. Let me delete that one and hit save finally. There we go. So we have five total. Now we'll go back to settings and I'll go to feed details. Now if I scroll down to the bottom where we were before, now we have Apple Podcast URL. So I could just whatever that's going to be. You don't use you won't use this URL. You'll you'll actually go submit it <laughs> uh, for distribution then you'll come back and put in what URL they give you, but just to where I have something in there. I'm just putting these fake URLs. Okay, so for this RSS feed URL, let me click Save Settings. You can right click on View Feed and do Copy Link Address. Or I guess you could drag that up to a new tab and then you could copy that. And by the way, this is what it looks like. And this is, this is not what um, your visitors will get. This is really something that's intended for a podcasting feed reader. But I've got that URL now, and I'll come back down and paste that here. And I'll click Save Settings. Now let me go back to the front end. 
and I'll reload. And let me go down to one of these. I'll go into number two. So now I have Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and I misspelled podcast for that one, Spotify, Stitcher, and RSS feed. Let me fix that right quick. So I'll go down. Oh, actually, it's on the options screen. So P-O-D, there we go. So now if I go back and reload, okay, now we have that one. So these would be real URLs eventually. But this RSS feed goes to that same file that I just showed you. So now, if I go back home, I'd like to create a third podcast post. So let me show you how to do that. Instead of under podcasts, if I click all episodes, you could add your podcasts here one at a time, but I selected that option that my podcast episodes will show up in the main blog. So I'll click posts and you'll notice if I go to categories, I've got two categories, blog and podcast. This could be articles or journal or whatever, or this podcast could be episode, but I've chosen blog and podcast and then I'll go to all posts and here's our first blog post. Here's our first podcast episode, second blog post, and second podcast episode, and a third blog post. Now I'll click add new, just like I would for a, a blog article. And I'll choose a name. I don't really have a name, an actual name, so I'll just do episode title goes here. And then I'll just copy in some fake content. So there's some fake, fake content there. So now we have this new panel down here. So I'm doing an audio podcast, so I'll choose audio. For podcast file, I'll click upload file in the media library. And I've already got an MP3 that I loaded before. This is just a, a sample audio file, but if you needed to, you could just go to upload files and select it here. So I'll choose that one and choose select and it will enter the URL here. Now, if you are using the Castos podcasting or podcast hosting service, that URL would go here. So for transcript, I'll choose upload file and then click this uh, simple podcast transcript. This is just a little simple thing. Now, I'm not sure why that's not showing up here. Actually, let me go back in and I'm going to copy this file URL. I'm not sure why that's not filling in. Anyway, that seems to be a bug. I'll just paste that in. So it should fill in the duration and the file size and the date record recorded, although we could fill those in. And you could, you could mark this episode as explicit and then you could also block it from appearing in iTunes and Google Play. And then for my category, I'm gonna choose podcast. And I'll go up and choose publish. So now if I go to the front end and go back to the home page, now my third blog post episode should show up. And then I've got this embedded player. So we see almost everything, but this this just this content area is a little bit longer, so it's truncating it. We could click read more, okay, or I could click the title. So now this is the full podcast post. And I've added these, add this social media icons with a plugin. And then we could allow comments or turn that off. So that gives you an idea of what a podcast episode looks like with this player. Now, I said I was going to show you the compact player. So let's go back to podcast and settings. And I chose the HTML5 player with album art. Let me switch it to the standard compact player. And I'll click save settings, go back to the front end. And instead of this one, we'll get this more compact player. Actually, it's not showing up. So I must have something. Let me go back home. No, it's not showing up. I went back and discovered something a little strange when I was creating that, that episode post. I noticed that my transcript URL was actually entered for the podcast file. I'm not sure what's going on there. So let me show you what I decided to do instead. So I'll 
empty those out, and then I'll choose for podcast file. I'll click upload file, and I'll just grab this URL by, I'll just click copy URL, and then I'll close this and paste that in the field. I'll choose upload file for the transcript. I'll do the same thing by clicking copy URL and close this and then paste that there. I'm not sure if that's some kind of bug. One is entering in the wrong field. So that should do it. I'll click update and I'll go back to the front end and choose and I'll refresh the browser. Now I'm seeing the duration of my file is, is updated. So it was, it was not loading the actual file. If you don't have the transcript plugin, I'm not sure that that would be a problem. I didn't notice that when I was just using the original podcasting plugin. So no problem, you can just use the actual, you can copy the URL and then paste it in manually. So the next thing that would be nice here is some widgets in the sidebar. So I'll come back over and go to appearance widgets. And the first thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to add an image. So I'll click this image and drag it up here for the main sidebar. And I'm using the Astra theme. This may be a little different for yours. So for, I'll click add image and I'm going to choose that smaller one. I just have an 800 by 800 pixel image. So for the link, I'll add that podcast feed, so domain.com or whatever it is, slash feed slash podcast, and I'll click save. And then come back over to the front end and refresh. Now we have this image and it's clickable to that, that feed URL. So I'll come back over, let's add another one. I'll collapse this first one. And the next one I'd like to do is a subscribe. So I'm gonna do custom HTML this time instead of image. And for the title, I'll do subscribe. And I've already written out some HTML, so I'll copy that, paste it over here. And I'm just using fake hash URLs here, but I'm gonna have a link to Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and then my RSS feed. And I've duplicated that link that I pasted up there for the image. And these are the links that show up below the the embedded podcast player. So I'll click save, come back over to the front end and refresh. Now I have this subscribe title and then these links that will take users out to the subscription locations. And the next one, I'll, I'll, I'll collapse this one. The next one I'd like to do is a, a recent post and I'll grab that one and come up here and place that one down as the third one. But I'll just say featured instead of recent posts because I'd like both the blog articles and the podcast episodes to show up. I'll change this from five to 10. Then I'll click save. Come back over to the front end and reload. Now I have in reverse order, so here's the first blog post, first episode, second blog post, etc., all the way up. Okay, that's looking good. Now I'll add just a, a fake newsletter sign up. I'll collapse this one. I'll just try that. I'll go up and, whoops, got that in the wrong location. There we go. So I'll do newsletter here. And be sure you're, I've got the visual mode disabled for my user ID here for my user, but be sure and switch over to the text tab if you have visual and text. And I'll just paste that short code there and click save. And that should do it. Let me refresh. There we go. So it's just a very simple form with uh, your email label and they could fill in their email address here and click sign up. Now this isn't real, but you could actually use a MailChimp embed code here or Tiny Letter or some other email service. So that takes care of the sidebar. One other thing that might be nice is to have a podcast link and a blog link. So back under posts, 
let me show you again that I've got two categories I've been using for the blog posts and the pod podcast episodes. So I've got blog and I've got podcast. And then if I go to appearance menus, and in my primary menu, I've got home, about, and contact. So I'd like to add a category. So I'll click category. Then I'd like to do podcast and then add menu and blog, add to menu. And I'll move this one up to be the second link here. I'll move blog up just below it. And then click Save Menu. Now, on the front end, if I refresh, what that will do is give us two new links. So if I click Podcast, it'll be like the homepage view, except only the podcasts show up. And the same thing for the blog link. So it's just like the home where they're in reverse chronological order, but it's just the blog articles. This isn't necessary, but it's a, an optional nice thing to have. So again, back on the homepage, I have all of the podcast episodes and the blog posts showing. So now let's go back and there's one final thing. I installed, let me show you again. I installed that Seriously Simple Stats. And so if I go to podcast and then stats, you'll see that I've already done this previously. I've got three listens for this week, but I've got zero for today. So let me go back and I'll go to podcast and then I'll need to actually play one. Hello and welcome to the simple podcast. This is a simple podcast about simple things. Okay, so I'll pause that and then go back to my stats and refresh the browser. And this should now say one listen today. Let me go back and I'll go to another one. And I just need I just need to listen to a few seconds there and refresh. So there's two. So this gives you some basic stats that you could use to keep track of when people were listening to your podcast episodes. It, it even shows you all the episodes for the last three months and top 10 episodes of all time. So that's a, a kind of a basic but useful stats plugin that will give you some information about who's listening to which episodes and when. I think that just about covers everything that I wanted to show you on creating a WordPress website for a podcast, but I'd like to show you some additional information on the plugin page itself. So out on the WordPress plugin repository, here's the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin page. And I wanted to point out they have a lot of good information about how to set up the plugin. So all the stuff that I covered, but in a lot more detail. So they have all kinds of topics like managing your RSS feed, managing multiple podcasts from the same site, customizing the embedded player, on down the line. So they have a lot of information here. And on their, let me go back up to the top, on their own website, they have even more information about the plugin, but also about their hosting platform and pricing and features and all that kind of stuff. But let me go over to this one page here called Importing Your Existing Podcast Content. And I'll link this URL in the description. But let's say you've created a podcast website and you're just starting out, so you just wanna self-host the MP3 files. But eventually, maybe your podcast becomes a lot more popular and then you would like to move those MP3 files over to Castos for them to host. This page would describe how you would do that. And it'll show you how to fill out the right information in the plugin in order to import the files into Castos. And then from that point, once you've done that, you go back to your website and create a new podcast post. It will then fill out the information with the Castos URL instead of the URL to your local MP3 file. So I just wanted to point that out. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions about creating a podcast website or WordPress development in general, you can reach out to me on my website at mpgilbert.com. I've also included some links to my social media accounts in the description. See you next time.